Hi, I'm Steve Smith with the Double Spar Ranch. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about groundwork, but specifically our drive line. So it is our spatial positioning in relation to our horse. It's to where we apply pressure to communicate what we want out of the horse. So in lunging, when we're going around the round pin, we want to apply our spatial pressure right to his hind quarters and just slightly behind. And then when we want him to stop, we want to step up to his shoulders and take a few steps back. Now, this is Gus, and he's he's not that terribly trained when it comes to round pin work, but he's kind of getting it. But that may be a better demonstration on how important your spatial positioning, your pressure point, your drive line is when you're training your horse. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is what I call a short lunge. It's just a lead rope and a, a lunging flag or a, a training flag. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have him go in some smaller circles and make his feet move, but we're gonna apply our drive line pressure correctly from the back hip there. So this is how we're gonna do this. You wanna, you wanna make an imaginary line from your belly button to the back of their haunch, their uh, rear hindquarters. And that's, that's where you wanna position your body as you're moving around, moving your horses. This is how I do it. Okay, buddy. Now notice I'm right here at his, right here behind his rump, okay? And so I'm applying my spatial pressure right here. If I move too far forward and get it up here uh, too far forward, he's gonna think I want him to stop because I'm putting pressure up front. It's like opening a gate and closing a gate. So we're closing a gate behind him when we move him forward, okay? And we're opening a gate in front of him, okay? Now, if we want him to go the other way, we'll turn him around, apply some pressure, and I'm gonna move my drive line back here to his rump again, and move him that way. If I want him to stop, I can step forward to his shoulder, and you see he stopped. So, it's very important in how and where you place your drive line when you're training your horse. Your body position is body language, and it's what they communicate with more than anything. So pay attention that you don't move too far forward on your horse's body when you're pushing him forward, lunging him, all right? So pay attention, work on that. Focus on putting your body in the right spot to get your horse to move in the direction that you want. It's called your drive line.